Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to talk about configuring OSPF load balancing. Now OSPF can have multiple paths to a single destination and it can use all of those paths as long as they all have the same OSPF cost. This is known as load balancing. In other words, we have multiple paths, they all have the same cost, therefore we can use each one. We can send traffic over each of those paths to the same destination. By default, OSPF supports up to four equal cost paths. However, we can jump into a router and change that behavior. In our lab, routers A and B have two serial links between them, and each of those links has the same cost of 65. Therefore, router A could send traffic to destinations off of router B using both of those serial links at the same time, and that would be considered load balancing. We can change this. We can make it 1. We can make it up to a total of 16. And this is a very simple configuration change to make. We have to jump into the router OSPF process configuration area in order to apply this. On router A, we'll go into configuration mode and we have router OSPF process 1 currently configured. Within that configuration space, the command is maximum paths, and I'll show you the parameter you can see we have a choice between 1 and 16. So if we wanted to, we could change this to 10. And now if router A had 10 paths, all with the same OSPF cost to a single destination, it could use all of them at the same time. OK, so to summarize what we covered, we now know that OSPF can perform what is known as load balancing, which just means it can have multiple paths to the same destination and it can use all of them at the same time. By default, it supports four, but we can change that value to anything between one and 16. However, in order for this to work, each of the paths that you want to load balance have to have the same OSPF cost. So if you're in a troubleshooting scenario and load balancing is not working as you, as you had expected, confirm that the path cost is the same. Okay, and so that's it. That is configuring OSPF load balancing. Thanks for watching.